there. So today we move from victory, the Six of Wands, into Valor. And here's the card you see. And what we have is we have this one single wand, which is so much rougher hewn than all the rest, which is standing in front of the others, thereby sending it out of balance. So this gives me an opportunity to explain a little bit more about the concept of balance in terms of the tarot and the tree of life. So this card number seven falls onto what we call the pillar of mercy. And that's because the balance has been shifted from the idealized position we have in the six. In fact, on the tree of life, the number six is the most advantageous and well balanced of all the numbers because it's on the middle pillar, so that gives it balance, but it's also in the centre from looking at perspective from the earth at the bottom and the spirit ab above. Right in the centre is the six which relates to the heart. If you go back to look at this card, we can see the sense of balance, the beauty in this card. Now, with the extra wand, that perfect balance in victory has tipped slightly, and so a valorous situation is one in which you find yourself having previously experienced a victory of some kind and now you're put into a situation of choosing through circumstances and the choice is to make what it is that you're doing successful you either need to put in some more energy or you need to accept that this is not the right path for you to let go and leave behind that particular project whatever it might happen to be so this is what the card Valor is about. So let me give you a little bit more detail about these pillars. So the idea, if you're looking at the Tree of Life, on the left-hand side is what we call the Pillar of Severity. And we saw very clearly on the Pillar of Severity the Five of Wands, which was the Strife card. In fact, all the numbers in the Tarot, which are the Threes, the Fives and the Eights, relate to the Pillar of Severity. In the middle pillar... We have the ones, we have the sixes, the nines and the tens in the tarot. They represent the middle pillar, the pillar of balance between these two extremes. And on the pillar of mercy, we have the twos, the fours, and here we have the seven of ones, the sevens. So the idea is that a pillar of severity on the left-hand side is where the Balance has shifted towards being too severe, too demanding, too harsh. Pillar of mercy is where things become too lax, too laid back, too easy, too indolent, lack of application of will. Middle of pillar, you get the balance. So that's just to go into a bit more detail. So there we are. The situation of the Valor card, a typical Valor situation, is knowing that you either need to walk away from that situation because it's just not working, or in order to make it work, you need to put a whole load of extra energy in. So I find this one quite challenging. Astrologically, on the top left of the card, there is a sign for Mars. And at the bottom of the card, we've got the sign Leo. So this is really to do with energy for oneself being an issue. We're going to do the transformation process on this card. And I feel a great sense of heaviness as I'm about to do this, because I really want to transform this one for myself and when we do this is what we get and this is blue and red and together they make violet and we use the water and the glass on the card as per usual with the words and when we turn the card over this is what we have bringing heaven to earth the seven of wands i see my head in heaven my feet on the earth to resting my attention at the center of my being. I see my head in heaven, my feet on the earth, through resting my attention at the center of my being. I see my head in heaven, my feet on the earth, through resting my attention at the center of my being. That's what this card is all about, and you can see the image there expresses this perfectly. And this is very much something that the shaman needs to do, is to be able to access the heavens and to access the earth simultaneously. And that keeps the shaman in touch. So for some more detail on this card, head in heaven, 
feet on the earth, awakening to the communication of peace. This can refer to a long-forgotten promise to bring heaven to the earth through the desire for harmony and peace, which is something I feel that we all sense at different times in our lives, and sometimes the distraction and the clutter of daily life can almost drown it out, but it's always there, this impulse to bring harmony and to bring peace into, first of all, your own life, then the lives of those that you love, and for that to spread outwards is a completely natural human inclination to want to do this. The energy to communicate what needs to be communicated is what this card is about as well. It's about the awakening that happens through making peace conscious. And so that is what we do when we transform the Valor card. And I particularly like that last sentence. The awakening that happens through making peace conscious, through learning to find the peace within yourself, which often requires that you become still enough to allow that small voice to be heard. So I wish you all the love in the time of valour that we are entering. Maybe a time for empowerment for you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.